We're pleased to be joined now by Gregor Noyat, the chair of the symposium Long Non-Coding RNAs. Welcome, tell us about it. Yeah, good morning. Um, so human cells only have 2% of the DNA actually encodes for proteins, and the other 98% of the genome does something else. And what researchers have found over the last couple of years is that actually 60% of this 98% uh, is actually transcribed into RNA. But nobody really understands why this is and how are these long non-coding uh, functions. Often this non-coding DNA is a uh, reference to the dark matter of the genome. And many of these, these, uh, these long non-coding RNAs are actually implicated in biological processes and misregulated in diseases. And long non-coding are generally um, refer to RNAs that are longer than 200 base pairs. How they are actually function and how they are regulated and why they are regulated in the first place is completely unknown. And these long, long coding RNAs not only have been found in human cells, but also in lower eukaryotic cells such as yeast. The theme of this symposium is mainly to show how we can use quantitative approaches on the genome scale, on the single cell scale, but also on computational modeling scale to understand the function and mechanism of these long non-coding RNAs. And it's particularly these single cell and I think the, the modeling approaches of how one can harness this variability that exists between single cells that is probably important to understand these functions in much more detail. I was going to say, so why, why is this session important? So the session is important because we almost know nothing about these long non-coding RNAs. And I think that's a, a great opportunity for bringing the awareness to physicists and other scientists that this is an important area of research to attack and the problems of actually studying these long coding RNAs are actually non-trivial and so what this requires is to bring in people that have a different perspective also a very quantitative training and maybe apply some unconventional approaches to really study these long non coding RNAs. I think also what I wanted to do here is to raise awareness that long non-coding RNAs need to be studied in model organisms, not only in human or mouse cells, because there's a lot that can be understood on the very basic biological and biophysical level. Also, it's important to raise awareness for education at the graduate and undergraduate level, because in today's world, a lot of modern technologies generate big data sets, and traditionally, the biomedical education is not really preparing students to be really handling these data sets. And so it's important to really bring in different approaches to education as well to better understand these complex problems. What's next for this area of research? So I think what's really important is to understand the biological significance and importance for these long non-coding RNAs in many more cases as it has been shown so far. For that, it's important to identify specific mechanism of how these long non-coding RNAs function, why are they regulated and how are they regulated. And because the process of transcription is an inherently stochastic process, meaning that there's a lot of variability from cell to cell, single cell approaches will be very important. And also modeling approaches to actually deal with this variability to then model this process will be very important too. And what do you hope attendees gain from this symposium? So I hope that um, attendees get excited about this new area of research. Um, it's really, because there's almost nothing known, it's a huge opportunity for making new discoveries and really um, exploring new directions. And I think that's particularly interesting for graduate students or postdocs or undergraduate students. And I also believe that a quantitative training that comes from physics or engineering or computer science can actually make significant contribution to understand these problems. All right. Right. Thank you so much, Gregor.